Hello YouTube. Which way is best? That way is best. All right. Ah, these allergies still yet. I just have fallen winter. It's gonna be the whole thing till spring comes. Fucking dogs. There's probably a coyote outside. Yeah, I promise you, a coyote's outside. Let's check that door. Yep, we're good. Okay, but my loft is done. And it's behind me. I've been moving stuff into it. Oh, and there needs to be a way to turn this camera around. But, god dang it. You see my sink and my toilet? Yep, they're in my living room right now because I really had to pee. When I got home, the, it was sitting outside the boxes outside. I installed the toilet real quick, threw some water in it. I had to pee. When I say I got pee, I got pee. I don't see anything outside, but Mar he could be barking at me because he heard me. Because it's been quiet. Babies at daddy's. <laughs> Thank God I need a break. Oh. <clears throat> I've been cleaning up me a section in the floor. I got me a good section. Clean off this rack because this rack's going to go back against that freezer and it's going to hold my kitchen stuff. The desk, is go the desk is going because that's taking up too much room and I'm it's not being as useful as I need it to be. Do not start barking. And I'm clearing my way this way to what I want the bathroom to be. I'm making a pile of stuff that's leaving the building completely. <laughs> uh. Oh, I did put that up there. I've already got quite a bit of stuff. Ow, I tripped on a box. Up here, my bed's up there with a brand new bed set. Oh, it's velvety soft. It's glorious. Glorious. Hopefully I can sleep in tomorrow. I haven't slept in and I don't know when. <laughs> I really don't. <clears throat> I like to sleep in because that was a big job. I did put in the center support right here just as a backup measure. It was holding, but I wanted it to be more secure. And that thing's not going anywhere. You can put a car up there. It's not going nowhere. <laughs> um, Ali. I'm trying to figure out how to get all this cleared so I can get my bathroom. Problem is back there, all that stuff that's back there, that's not mine and it's leaving the building. But the where it's going is needs to be cleaned out itself. I'm really ah, and I don't I can't really do it by myself because it's not my stuff. And I don't like messing with other people's stuff. I don't need it cleared out, but first I need to be able to get to it so it can come out. But I'm thinking if I at least get the rack back there, the desk out. I can get the desk out. They said they already said the desk can be burned. Okay, so just get it out. Break it if you have to, because it's trash. And that's going to give me another three feet of room plus two feet depth. That's giving me some room because I'm working upward instead of outward. Anything that can be stacked in a 10 by 20 building, it's going to be stacked. <sighs> Sorry, these allergies. They're killing me. Um, I need my son's room done. I have some leftover boards from my loft build, so I'm going to build my son a bed. Thank God. He needs his own bed. He cannot be sleeping with Mama no more. That was a temporary thing. I don't care what he wants to gripe about, holler about, cry about. No. You're not sleeping with me no more. Uh, Mama's done. Mama needs her space. Oh, man. I've got a lot done. I'm proud of myself. I just don't like my toilet being in the living area, but not much of a living area. I was unable to get the futon I wanted for in there. Dang it. And I still haven't worked out how... I'm going to power everything without overload. Um, yeah, I'm still working on that. Trying to plan that out. I do not want to run 
and extension cord off a of power strip. I may have to bring some cords in here. I don't know yet. No, nope, that won't work either. I'll figure it out somehow. Just don't know how. I do want my radio up in the loft with a lamp. But again, I'm not wanting to overpower the grid. I'm actually wanting to use less. So I'm looking into solar. I want solar I have seen. That's kind of pricey. And I don't get it right now, which is fine. I can go without my TV and all that right now. If I want to watch a movie, I'll pop out, pop out my laptop. It can charge, and then I can take it up there as a charge. I don't need a lamp up there, really. I get the lamp down here lights it up enough up there for now. Um, I am going to get a string of lights for under, because it's pretty dark under there. <sighs> so much to do, but I'm getting there. I'm really tired. I've been working really hard. I kind of took a day off today, too, because, uh, oh, I took my son to his father's house. I went and seen somebody, visited with them, got some stuff clean my truck, because that's another project I got. I'm trying to clean my new truck. My truck sat out in the field for years, and it smells like rat poop. If you haven't been smelt rat poop, you don't want to smell rat poop. It stinks. It's musty, and ugh, I can't stand it. So if I'm not working on this, I'm working on the truck, and I'm still waiting on the job to call. I called them twice today. Called them this morning. They said, call at four. I called at four. They said, call me tomorrow. I was like, come on, let me go to work. I'm wanting to work here. Y'all said you want somebody that wants to work. I want to work. Call me. <sighs> so I've got these projects going, just keeping me busy. Because I'm, I'm not one of those people who sit on the couch and watch TV all day. I'm losing a ton of weight. I'm happy about it. A ton of weight. My pants are falling off. I had to go buy a belt. My belt's already needing another hole. <sighs> I went to Walmart. I measured the belt. Belt was perfect. By the time I got home, put it on. I need another hole. <laughs> Losing weight fast. Um, I haven't really changed much of my diet. I'm still trying to get my three meals a day. They're just smaller because I'm like, all right, small meal. Let's get back to work. Just eat a little bit. Let's go back to work. All oh, those movies need to be put up. But I'm. As I'm sitting here talking to you, or videoing, or whatever y'all want to call it, my boredom, my rambling, I am planning how everything's going to go. I'm, right now I'm piling a lot of piles, but there is a method to the piles. Some piles are going to be moved later, some piles are getting out. Some piles are trash to be burned. Um, like that desk, it's wood, it's going to burn. Still think I really wanted one of those um behind the toilet shelves. I mean, yeah, I got a camp toilet, but <clears throat> the behind the toilet shelf gives me more storage. And anybody that knows tiny living, your storage, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need as much storage if you can figure out a storage. Do it. Later on, right now I'm working with a vertical ladder. I'm a plus size girl with plus size boobs. And I'm bit, I'm getting kind of old. So vertical ladders are rough on me. But later we're going to make a little stair step. Stairs. Box stairs. I don't got the money right now. I don't got the time or patience. I had to. I just did that so I could be done with that project. I was working on that project for four days. I ran myself down. I'm tired of that project. I need to move on to something else. I need to get my son's room so he can sleep over there. I need to get my bathroom, because my toilet came in way sooner than it said, way sooner. It's supposed to be here in another week and a half. No, it got here in three days. I'm like, geez, I'm not ready. But I'm glad it was here, because when I got home, I really had to pee. And I hooked it up. I threw a couple bottles of water in it, because apparently I forgot to refill my water again. And I peed. I used the bathroom, and it was lovely. Lovely. <laughs> I can't shower in here. That's fine. I'll go over to my nephew's next door. No big deal. I like seeing the boy anyways. I love him. He's a good help. He's young. I'll give him that. He is young. But he's he's a good, he's grown to be a good man. Real good man. Proud of him. 
He has came in here. He's helped me with everything. He asked me if I need anything. He may He's been on me to make sure I'm eating right because he knows I'm hypoglycemic and he doesn't want to come out here and see his aunt fall over in the floor from a sugar drop, sugar whatever, plummet, whatever you want to call that thing. I don't know. But he makes sure I eat. He worries about me a lot. Any loud noise, he'll come running in to check on me. Uh, it's kind of cute. But, uh... Yeah, I still got a lot to do, but I've got a lot done. I did. I've got a lot done. And my son's gone for a few days, and I'm hoping, oh, I'm hoping to have his room and a bed made for him. His own bed, his own room done and before he gets back. Oh, excuse me. I'm hoping. I. Oh, excuse me. I cannot guarantee that. Dang, I got indigestion. Yeah. Can't talk. Actually, my throat's getting dry, and I ain't got a drink. <laughs> I'm just getting dried out. But I do plan on getting some rest today. I plan on doing a lot. Well, today, it's day's almost over, if it's not already. Let me see. Ten more minutes to this day. Really? I've been up this late. Okay. Especially I'm going to ring my ass while I'm awake when he goes to work. But... That's where I'm at. I mean, I can now walk around. I've got a little bit more light. I get to walk around a dog. But I've got room. I did vacuum this section because whenever you're building, you've got splinters, you've got nails, you've got screws. You've done made a mess of the place. So I'm working on it. Oh, so much. I'm happy here. I like this. I've always been intrigued by tiny living because... I try not to live luxurious. I kind of like living tiny or just, what do you call it? I go off my needs. I don't need all that special stuff. I don't need a big old house. I don't need a big old car. I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice. But right now, I'm, I'm going to live out this tiny living. I'm going to see where it goes. I do plan on saving some money and getting my own place. Helping my nephew out as much as I can. I've really hit, hit rock bottom, and he's there to pick me back up. I'm happy. He's a, good, he's a good nephew. He's a good husband. He's a good man, good father. Proud of him. I don't even know if he watches these videos. Probably not. He don't watch much YouTube. But for a young man, he's got a good head on his shoulders. He, he knows what to do. I'm proud of him. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to do some cleaning. I'm going to sit down and have a drink. Let my dogs out. Grab my phone charger out the truck that I left in the truck like a dingbat. And probably going to tuck her in for the night. Oh, it's going to be nice. Because I'm not going to have to wake up to my son screaming for me 50 times during the day and me climbing up and down a vertical ladder five times a night. I'm getting some muscles from it though, muscles. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'll keep all updated. Any comments, concerns, questions, put them down in the comments down there. If uh, you're curious about tiny living or need ideas or anything, put it down there. Y'all know how to do that. Come on now, y'all know more about these phones than I do. Back in my day, we didn't have phones. And that wasn't that long ago. <laughs> That's the sad thing. You had a cell phone, you were rich. Rich. But, I hope y'all have a good night. Stay positive. Keep at it. And, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.